Hello there. I've got a shocking revelation for you. Personally, I'm not a great fan of many hymns. I do struggle to understand some of the language used. I like to know what I'm singing about. So I'm sorry if this upsets you, but I have it on good authority that you'll still forgive me. However, I do love the hymn my hope is built on nothing less. And not just because I can understand all the words. I love the fact that it reminds us, as each time we sing the chorus, that our hope is built on the foundation of Jesus. We have just celebrated the events of Easter, and this story of Easter is all about the story of hope. So what is the meaning of the word hope? Well, we use the word hope in at least three different ways. First of all, hope is the desire for something good in the future. The children might say, I hope daddy gets home early tonight so we can play football before dinner. In other words, they desire for him to get home early so that they can experience this good thing, namely playing football together. Secondly, hope is the good thing in the future that we are desiring. We say, we hope that Jim will arrive safely. In other words, Jim's safe arrival is the object of our hope. Thirdly, hope is the reason why our hope might indeed come to pass. We say, a good tailwind is our only hope of arriving on time on this flight. In other words, the tailwind is the reason we may, in fact, achieve the future good that we desire. It's our only hope. So hope is used in those three senses. So again, a desire for something good in the future, the thing in the future that we desire, and the basis or reason for thinking that our desire may indeed be fulfilled. All three of those uses of the word are found in the Bible. But the important feature of biblical hope is not present in any of those ordinary uses of the word hope. In fact, the distinctive meaning of hope in scripture is almost the opposite of our ordinary usage. I don't mean that in scripture hope is a desire for something bad, in other words, the opposite of something good. And I don't mean that, that in scripture hope is the rejection of good instead of a desire for it. It's not the opposite in that sense. It is the opposite in this sense. Ordinarily, when we use the word hope, we express uncertainty rather than certainty. I hope daddy gets home early means I, I don't know with any certainty that daddy will get home on time. I only desire that he does. Again, our hope that Jim will arrive safely means we don't know if he will or not, but that is our desire. And a good tailwind is our only hope of arriving on time means a good tailwind will bring us to our desired goal, but we can't be sure that we will get one. Ordinarily, when we express hope, we are expressing uncertainty. But this is not the biblical meaning of hope. Biblical hope is not just a desire for something good in the future, but rather biblical hope is a confident expectation and a desire for something good in the future. Biblical hope not only desires something good for the future, it expects it to happen. And it not only expects it to happen, it is confident that it will happen. So back to the hymn. When we go and sing about our hope being built on Jesus Christ, then we can be confident that he is the best, most secure foundation on which to live and base our lives. That is the biblical hope. That is what we sing about in that song. And I pray that each day we will build our hope 
that secure, that certain, that confident hope on Jesus Christ. And we will lean on Jesus' name. Bless you and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.